feel good in your body, your mind, and spirit. <sighs> Let's start with that. Take a big sigh with me. Take a larger inhale through your nose and out your mouth. <sighs> yes. Sometimes that's all it takes is a sigh. And that's a little tip that you can take with you anywhere you go. When you start to feel your body getting tense, inhale deeply. <sighs> Yes. In your seated position, feel your butt pressing down and the center of your chest lift. Feel the muscles at the base of your neck, at the top of your shoulders, relaxed. Put your mind on your belly and take three breaths into your belly. If it's hard for you to know where you're breathing, put one hand on your chest and one hand on your stomach. Try to keep the hand on your chest still and just have the hand on your stomach move. So now we're taking a few moments to down-regulate our nervous system, calm our body, decrease inflammation, decrease the stress response with this more natural belly breathing that so many of us, myself included, often don't do because we're stressed. Try closing your eyes. Keep yourself sitting upright. Relax the muscles of your face. Breathe a couple more into your low belly. Just know your best is good enough. If you can't quite figure it out yet, you got the rest of your life to work on it. We don't want to have you worrying about your de-stressing practices. Again, good enough is good enough. You showed up. Honor yourself for that. Open your eyes. And rest your hands on your desk. Keep the chest lifted. Drop your head forward. Roll your head over to the right. Take your left hand and reach it down away from you to add some traction to the stretch on the neck. Take your right hand and place it on top of your head. Don't yank your head. Just allow the weight of the hand to stretch your neck. Five slow breaths. If there are outside noise that feel distracting, just invite them to be where they are. They're outside. And invite yourself to be where you are, with your breath and with your body. Release your hand. Drop your head forward. And take it to the other side. Now the right hand reaches down. And the left hand comes over the head. And you stretch. Breathe deeply. Set an intention to create the kind of peace that's not dependent on outside sources for its ability to sustain itself. Set an intention to be so good in yourself that everything else is great. And slowly release. Drop the head forward again. And lift your head up. This one's a fun one. You're going to take your bottom teeth and pull it over your top teeth as you reach up. So we're going to stretch these muscles here. You're also going to take your fingers and kind of dig them 
into the area right above your collarbones and pull down. If you have long nails, you can kind of just use the flats of your fingers. So go ahead, grab on, pull down and bite up. Hold. Another five, four, three, two. Tilt your chin a little bit to the right. Stretch a little to the left. And release. Shake your jaw out. Uh, <laughs> big wide open. And shake it out again. So many of us carry tension in our jaw. So that's a really important area to release. All right, next, we're gonna do some side bends. Take your right hand across your lap and grab hold of your outer left thigh. Reach your left arm up, stretch up, and side bend. You can look down if that's more comfortable for your neck. Just make sure your chest isn't forward folding. Almost think of twisting forward with the right side of your waist. Stretch, try to keep your top arm straight, energy all the way to fingertips. Breathe deeply. Breathe. And release. Let's switch sides. Left arm across, right arm up. We stretch, lengthen through the elbow. Keep your breath, side bend. Do what's comfortable for your neck, looking down or up. Feel your body. And see if you can feel it without having any opinions. So let the words go and allow yourself to surrender to sensation. No more analysis, not right now. And release. Let's twist. Take your right hand across your desk. Left hand will grab hold of either the back of your chair or the arm of your chair. And you'll twist. You can look to the left. Breathe deeply and make sure your chest isn't collapsed forward. Lift the center of your chest up. Don't push to your max. Give just 80% effort. And release. So in all these stretches, we don't want to overdo it. We want to be able to feel the feedback our body's giving us. So unlike other forms of exercise, let's switch sides. So take your left arm across, right hand to the back of your chair, the arm, lift the chest and twist. So unlike other forms of exercise in yoga, we're not conquering the body with the mind. We're connecting with the body, feeling its feedback and unifying with it. Yoga means union to create a more cohesive, balanced whole where we're integrated mind, body, and spirit. Spirit can just be energy if that term is not comfortable for you. It's just having your energy feel great, vibrant, connected, at ease with all things. That's the goal. Come back to center. Last stretch. Reach the arms up. Link your thumbs, start to pull your thumbs apart and lift the center of your chest. So it's like your arms are drawing backwards and I'm pretty bendy, I've been at this for a while. If your arms are further forward, that's fine. Just talk to those elbows and ask them to move back. Talk to the center of your chest and ask it to lift up. We'll hold here. Think of those thumbs breaking apart, chest lifts. Little back bend in the upper back for five, four, three, lift, two, and release. And that's all for today. I look forward to seeing you next time.